Hey everybody, welcome back. Jason from Firearms Unknown down here in Yuma, Arizona. And today we're gonna to talk about another one of our featured guns in November, and that is the HK VP9. So we sell a lot of striker fire guns down here in our Yuma location. And one of the big things that we get is like the spectrum of people coming in and there's so many different striker guns and they really are at different levels as you look at them. So today I'm really, really pumped to talk about the VP9. It's one of my favorite striker fire pistols that we have in the store and I really, really enjoy shooting this. Real quick, just like always, let's go ahead and make sure we're clear and empty. We got our chamber flag inserted. We'll go ahead and lock that to the rear. Go ahead and check, make sure our mag is clear and empty. Nothing in the chamber, magazine well or breech face. So we're, we're good to go. All right, so the HK VP9. Uh, polymer frame, steel upper, striker fire gun. Overall length of this thing is about 7.4 inches, give or take. It's got a little over a four inch barrel. Sight radius runs about six and a half inches. Overall weight, 25 and a half ounces, and that's gonna be dry. So remember, with a fairly substantial magazine capacity of 17, you're gonna add a little bit of weight to that system once you load all the way up. What's really cool about these guns, I come optic ready, phenomenal triggers. So quick brief history on the VP9. It's essentially a remake of the HK P30. And then what they did was short it up, turned it into their own striker system, which is really nice. And they were originally gonna be called the P30X. And then they decided to change it from the P30X to what was called the Volks pistol. And then Volks pistol was then kind of shortened down to VP and then the nine for nine millimeter or the VP 40 for the 40 caliber. So what's the Volks pistol mean? Literal translation is the people's pistol. So, and they named it that only for the US market, by the way, that wasn't for them, that was for us. So when you look at the HK VP9, you're getting essentially what's a full size nine millimeter, a very shootable gun with a really nice trigger. So when we talk strikers, if you've shot, you know, Glocks and you've shot SIGs and you shot, you know, whatever and ever and ever and ever, all these different striker fire guns that are out there, you're gonna find that the triggers are similar but different, right? because the striker fire system is is really kind of limited in what you can do to it overall when you get down to your trigger systems until you got into these really high end, polished out, re-springing in your whole entire rig. But when you get a v HK VP9, you actually get, with their precision trigger, you get a real solid, solid trigger press, crisp break, and an extremely, I think it's a .024 reset on this thing. So it, it's really, really, really solid. So. Like I stated before, 17 plus one magazine capacity. You get a minimum of two mags with every one of these guns. They do come optic ready and they are kind of ambidextrous. You can reverse the magazine. It does have an ambidextrous slide stop release. And then the takedown lever again, as usual, is, is located over here on the left side of the gun. Good serrations on the slide, easy to manipulate. It's got the accessory rail, so you can run your light, your laser, your combo, or whatever you want to run on there, bayonet. It does have an enlarged trigger guard. So again, really good to get in without a glove or if you got a glove finger, you can get in there as well. One of the thing HK does, and you know, it's, it really is kind of seen across the board in a lot of their pistols, ergonomics are phenomenal on the firearm. It does have replaceable side straps as well as back straps. So you can also change the girth or the draw of this particular grip to customize it to your hand. It is one of those guns that is really easy to get high on the grip tang and get a solid grip on this piece of equipment. Honestly, uh, very few guns, and there's a few of them that you might hear about me talk about in the past or in the future, that they feel like when you get a hold of this thing, it's almost grabbing you back. The HK VP9 is like that. So feels like really solid and a lot of control over the gun. One of the things I really like that they did for, for people that have difficulty operating slides, whether you do overhand manipulations or whether you do these new things like this, a lot of people still rely on grabbing to the back of the gun and racking that slide. So they do have these polymer inserts that are on the back of the gun and I'm sure we'll get some inset photos for you. But it, what it does is it, it widens out that very last serration on the top of the slide. So it really gives you a solid purchase point to get onto this onto this pistol. So if you're looking for something that's got really, really good ergonomics, it's really, really easy to fire, shoots well, extremely reliable, high mag count, these are your guns, man. This is definitely something that you should be looking at. 
The only thing that I tell you, this is my little PSA when you're looking at HKs, specifically the VP9 series guns, is they offer two different types of magazine release. Now, I only have the button type in front of me today, but what they do offer is the paddle type that sits right at the base of your trigger guard. So it changes that release position from here to pushing down on the bottom of your trigger guard. So when you're looking at these guns, make sure that the model that you're looking at, or if you're interested in purchasing, that you get that thing in your hand and make sure that you can operate that mag release. If you have a lot of experience with handguns and all your experience is with this type of magazine release, think about that before buying a drop style, the paddle release, because it's gonna change how things work for you and you have to relearn it. So that's the only suggestion I have. Just make sure you know which one of these you're getting as it, as it pertains to the mag release, okay? And if you have any questions about the HK VP9 or any of HK's great products, feel free to come down here and see me at Firearms Unknown. And until next time, have a great one.